This is how you use GrooveFunnels to manage your membership site. So this is their main dashboard. Once you log in, you're going to go to manage memberships. Then you're going to go over to content, memberships, and then pick the membership that you would like to create or edit. You're going to go to open builder. And it will take you to this page. You can then go to your outline and you're going to add your categories. So what I like to do here is to add a title and then have a subgroup of the module. So here we're going to add track and convert your perfect Clients online. We'll add that. The subcategory we can edit by clicking those three buttons, renaming them, and then putting module number there. And we can also follow up and say um, sales. because that's what that title is. Then you go to the page and you can then add your video. So you're gonna go up to here, add your YouTube or your Vimeo video. And then you can also add downloads. So click on that download box you're going to click on the video itself and then a pop-up will come to the side and you can configure and put that video in. So to find that video ID, you're going to take those digits in um, video and then go back to Groove, add in that video, YouTube video ID and upload. You can also enable autoplay. I don't particularly like to um, add them for each module, but for the home intro, then I feel like that's something that you can add because when you're doing the home, the home page intro, you want it to start playing to welcome people automatically. So go in here add the video, you can change them as you want. You don't need to put the whole link and so if it accidentally clicks that whole thing, you're gonna wanna delete it because it wants the video ID and not um, that full link. Make sure that it actually shows up with the video here. Then you're gonna go into your downloads and then you can put, if you want a text link, so you want to link it, so this is what it says, so you'll name it, um, you know, whatever it is that you want to name it, and then you can go to file, and then that's one of the files that we have already update, uh, added to our membership. So we're going to want to save that there. And one last thing, if you want to add files to your membership page, go back to the main membership portion and then go right here to content. So those are your memberships and these are your files. So you're going to go in here, upload the file, go to your desktop, you now figure out where the files are that you want to um, include on here. So we're going to put any file that you want. Here's our workbook folder and we're going to put um, our color chart in there. Name it and 
we're going to upload the file. So all of the files that you want to attach to any place in your membership, you're going to want to go to this content button at the main membership before you go into the individual memberships and include the files there.